Good evening and welcome back. So we're in the Europa League today at home to Atalanta. Uh, looking at the lineup, we've made a few changes. As you can see, a couple of downward reds. So taking out Emerson Martinelli. I was going to play Mandano in goal, but he's on a bit of a downward orange. And we've just subbed a few people out to exchange a man. We've got a few games in the space of seven days. So Castro up top, Carlos Perez and Mudrick on the wings. We've got Fabio Vieira and Harrington as the attacking midfielders. Herrera sitting deep and a change back for fully. Um, so we've got Teixeira, Ugbonna, Balbuena and McDowell. Let's get stuck in. And as of recording today, it's the 2nd of May. So I'm actually, I was quite a way ahead. I haven't played pairs in ooh, a good couple of weeks, I think. Been mainly playing EA PGA Tour. And I've actually wrapped up my Resident Evil 4 remake recording. Um, the I think when this video comes out, this pairs video, there's still going to be either one or two episodes to go. So please go check out that series. Brilliant game. So glad I finished it now. And I've already started my next run which I'm not recording, um, what I'm going to try and do is eventually get platinum. There's a lot of trophies that I need to do. And uh, yeah, such a great game. And um, I'm just enjoying it playing it off camera as well because it's, you know, if, if any of you guys watching record stuff, you'll know that it's it, it's certainly different and you have to sort of get in the right frame of mind to record. Um, and obviously you're talking over the top of it. You can't just relax and sort of do what you want it's a bit more i wouldn't say pressure but um and plus it was my first playthrough i didn't know what to expect so second time round, um yeah just i'm really enjoying it. i think we're about four chapters in already and i'd done that the same day i completed the game but anyway back into pairs like i say i haven't played this in a good couple of weeks just because of uh other stuff I had going on and I wanted to get that Resident Evil 4 finished and really enjoying streaming EA PGA 2 a couple of times on Twitch. Put the VODs on YouTube as well, so again, go check that out. Also post short videos every day, um, which are either Pez goals or um, you know good shots from the golf game, PGA Tour. Just, I quite like doing those short videos. Um, He's tech share anyway. Oh, decent ball. Ooh, defended got there. Defended well, actually. In the end. McDowell. Oh, he does get there. Tech share now, Vieira. Hampton. Castro. Oh, good save. Well, quite an easy save, but he's in the right position. But yeah, Pez is always my sort of go-to game just to, I wouldn't say have a chill out, but it's, uh, I, I like recording it. And obviously I do very little edits to it. Just a few little things. Here's Mudrick. Okay, got no one to pass to really, but he has now. And he's going to get it back. Well played there. Now Hampton, Herrera, oof, absolutely leathered that one. Mudrick, oh, it deflects and goes into the keeper's arms. I could have gone anywhere, but took the sting out of it. In the last match we played on this was a 4-0 win in the league. I can't remember exactly who it was against. Oh, McDowell thought that was going out there. Oh, got lucky there. But could hit them on the counter-attack. Here's Perez. Modric. Oh, he got taken out there, surely. Perez. Oh, three defenders on him. Modric definitely got fouled. But playing on advantage is probably the right thing to do. Oh, he's offside. Trying to be too intricate there, I think. I'm still having to think about what to do in terms of the channel um, schedule, because I upload every single day, and uh, that's Pez every day bar Sunday. Then Sunday has been Resident Evil 4, and that was the original, and then the remake. So, don't know what I'm going to do after Resident Evil 4. Um, 
but also, and I've mentioned this in a couple of videos, I may be looking to change things up in terms of pairs. Maybe not doing it every day. Um, instead of the six episodes a week, maybe do three and do them as uh, double games, like double headers. Maybe have longer episodes or maybe edit them down more, which I'm sort of a little bit worried about doing because... You know, I've got a full-time... This is just what I do for a hobby. This isn't... You know, I've got a full-time job. I've got a I've got a son. I've got, you know, lots of responsibilities and stuff I do outside of this. Um, oh, hang on. Good take by the keeper. But yeah, anyway, I've got lots of stuff to do. And I like to do this in my spare time and still see it as very much a hobby. But that I, you know, I do want to upload every day. Um, or, you know, I'll stick to whatever schedule. Perez, oh. Um, and Pez is sort of my bread and butter videos and I don't really have to edit them too much I do a little bit of tweaks at the start a little bit of tweaks at the end half time I normally edit out a little bit if there's any substitutions just little things um, and it doesn't take too much time oh my trick fire it in there And my worry is, is with that being my go-to videos, um, increasing that is massively increasing. You know, even if every video is only like a little bit more editing, um, you know, the amount of games that I play. Oh, Castro, 1-0. Beautiful finish there from Castro. Slotted it in with his left. So it came out to Hunton out wide there. Was it Texera actually? Which it played the ball in. Nice little touch. And slotted away nicely. Maybe the keeper could have done better, but a very nice finish. But yeah, anyway, you know, if I do have to edit down the videos, and by edit, I mean pretty much do an extended highlights video. Um, that's going to take a lot more doing, I think. And trying to get it to flow okay. Um, so I'm not sure. I'm not really sure whether I want to do that. Here's Mudrick. Harrington. Oh, just wide, and that's half time. We had two thirds of possession, all of pretty much in the attacking area. Atlanta did not put up much of a fight. I haven't created many chances, like clear cut. And that one goal that we scored was uh, probably the best of them. But yeah, in terms of the editing, I'll, I'll, I'll have a think. I, I may just stick to what, what I'm doing now. Um, I may just do double episodes, double games per episode and not edit it anymore. So they'll be almost twice as long. Um, now the reason why they wouldn't be exactly twice as long is because the beginning and the ending there would be only be one intro and outro hang on why did he head that back I'm not sure Oof, just wide that's probably why but yeah what I mean how long are the videos now sort of anywhere between I would say 16 17 minutes and maybe sort of 20 minutes for normal episodes so you're looking at about maybe like 35 minutes an episode and i just don't know if that's just too long for people to watch i'm not sure here's carlos perez he hasn't been involved too much in the game oh nicely played to mcdowell there Oh, what a save. Cash over the head. I thought that was in. We will watch that one. Collis Perez just manages to get it through to McDowell. A nice ball in. And it's just a bit too central. Good save, though, because the keeper was... I think his weight was going towards his, uh, his left there. Oh, Collis Perez again. Heading over, though. And in terms of the Sunday series that I'll be doing, again, I'm not sure. Now, what I have been doing is because maybe I didn't 
think it through. Um, whoops, did not mean to do that. Is obviously EA PGA Tour came out and I'd already sort of scheduled in at least a couple of weeks worth of videos. So sort of made my schedule around that Pez videos, Resident Evil 4. Um, and then when I did the live streams, obviously that didn't have anywhere to go at a nighttime slot. So I've been posting them during the day, the VODs uh, of the Twitch streams. Normally split them up to, you know, each turn I play, I'll put that in one video. Um, so only two or three videos per stream. Um, so th there was days where I was getting two videos out of my channel every day, and then the shorts on top, which I'd put out one daily at 8pm uh, BST. And I just thought, wow, this is getting a bit too much. Um, you know, a bit saturated. I'm going to make some subs here. So I'm going to make two subs. Brigitte is coming on in place of Yera, and I'm going to take off my drick and bring on Xerxes and put Ruben Castro on the left, which he's very good at, but he hasn't played there in a while. But yeah, what, what I could do is on that Sunday, either pick another sort of game to play, uh, another Let's Play, um, but I'm, I'm more thinking maybe I'll do EA PGA 2 on that day. Um, you know, whether that's actual from a live stream or it's a dedicated video that I do not streaming. Um, I'll do a tournament or something like that in the career mode. You know, that'll be like a half an hour, 40 minute video, something like that. Here's Harrington. Now Bouchet. Oh, I don't know what quite what he was doing there. And I don't know, Sunday feels like a good day, good day for golf. Because um, obviously, not, traditionally, uh, tournaments in golf are played Thursday to Sunday. So I don't know, it, it kind of feels like a, a Sunday thing. Um, so I might just do that for a while and then, and, whoop, hang on. Oh, Zixi, and he got through. Because I haven't really got a Let's Play in mind at the moment. And I might do the odd Resident Evil 4 uh, remake video still, as in some of the, the challenges I'm going to try and do. Um, here's Perez. Zixi. Oh, beautiful goal. What a pass and a lovely finish. Nice one too. Beautifully weighted here. And that little sort of toe poke finish. Yeah, just a side foot in off the post there. And we've, we've deserved that, we've deserved the second. So yeah, anyway, that's what I'm thinking in terms of the channel. So, maybe keep Pez as is, or double episodes, double games per episode rather. And my thoughts were around if I did drop to three episodes a week for Pez, um, but still the same amount of actual games I'm playing in those videos, that that would leave an additional... Um, so say if I did that, I don't know, like Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And then Sunday, potentially a Let's Play or Golf Games. That leaves uh, Tuesday and Thursday. And Saturday as well, actually, doesn't it? Yeah, so I don't know. Um, I could do golf those days as well. Oh, nearly through Paris. Oh, I was thinking of having one day off a week. Um, don't know when that would be. Oh, here's Xerxes. Lovely little pass there. And it's a... Oh, <laughs> I didn't know you could kick the ball in the net after that. I, <laughs> oh, I've never seen that. I was pressing circle. And he kicked it in the net again. Nice play here though. Sixty, very unselfish. Gotta win for goal. But anyway, sorry to keep going about the channel, but yeah, I think maybe maybe something like Monday, Wednesday, Friday for Pez. Um maybe Saturday and Sunday I could do for the golf. 
And then Tuesday, Thursday. Oof. Nasty tackle that. Oh, Castro just tried to cut inside. The defender got a little bit lucky. I don't think you've knew much about it, really. I think just changing the chart, it just gives me a little bit of leeway. And, you know, when I when I decide, okay, maybe I don't want to upload a golf video today. Maybe I, I want to upload a, a Hitman video, for example. Or maybe... Um, another Resident Evil 4 sort of one-off video because the challenges I'm thinking of are um, you know some of the runs where you've got to do like hardcore mode or um, no healing runs gun and knife runs uh, gun and knife only runs um, they're actually to unlock trophies things like that I could do a you know very compact one-off video just take highlights from my playthrough on it it would mean a lot of editing and a lot of recording just for a short video but Something I might want to do. Um, here's Bajet. Ah, straight to the keeper. And that should be the end of the game. Yeah, very comfortable win there. Could have been more. And they did not threaten our goal whatsoever. I think the only chance they had is when I brought up my keeper. And um, him and a defender managed to sort of snuff out a chance. But other than that, we were absolutely dominant in that game. And rating-wise, everyone was pretty good. I wouldn't say anyone was in particularly great. And if we look down here, Zerks, he actually got man of the match, even though he was only on for, what, half an hour? Goes to show you, just a very solid performance, though. But that's it for today, guys. Thank you very much for joining. And as you can see, we're playing Rio Valenciano uh, in the next match at home. Then the second leg of the Europa League, and then away to Espanyol. So join me for that one. Thank you very much. Hit that like button, drop a comment down below, and think about subscribing to the channel to keep up to date. And I'll see you all next time. Cheers.